Welcome to Cycles TV. This session of the Market Cycles Report is intended exclusively to provide information and education to help individuals better understand cycles and the markets. However, this information is not to be construed as professional advice as to the buying and selling of securities. In no event does the host express any opinion with respect to or make recommendations regarding the purchase or sale of any particular investment instrument. There is a very high degree of risk involved in trading. Buying or selling decisions are solely within the personal discretion of each individual. And now, enjoy the show. Here is your host. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lars Fontine, and today we have another episode of Cycles TV. Unfortunately, I can't do it live, so I have pre-recorded this session on the weekend. Uh, so when you watch it, I recorded it yesterday on Sunday. And the purpose for today is let's talk about natural gas prices and cycles within natural gas. That's the topic I've prepared for this session. So you will review the weekly cycles on natural gas and the daily cycles on that asset class. So what you see here on the screen um, is the raw price series of uh, natural gas. Um, you see just from the absolute values, we are now currently um, at a long-term interim uh, low level here, yeah, which we have um, not reached for a very long time in historical analysis. So it would be interesting to see what the cycles tell us at that point in time. We start with the weekly series. So this is the weekly data set going back until 21. So we have around yeah, 22 years of weekly data on the natural gas prices. And for sure, we start with the basic cycle analysis. What is shown here over this period in time uh, with the spectrum chart here down below. So we see a lot of cycles um, showing up in this long-term data series. That's often the case if you use such long period of data. But if you see the amount of data we are using here for this analysis is around 1000 bars or data points, which is what I would recommend as an average. So the 900 data points uh, three times the maximum of cycles you want to able uh, to be detected reliably. So we can detect cycles up to 350 weeks. Yeah, in that case, well, that's a good starting point anyhow. So looking at the spectrum here at the bottom, we see that one cycle clearly stands out in this analysis, which is the cycle with the length of 141 weeks. Uh, it's measured in weeks in that case. So we have a clear absolute maximum of this peak here in the spectrum compared to all other peaks. We have a green triangle. Uh, we have a large triangle in regards to strength. And from a visual perspective here in this separation, looks nice. Looks nice. So let's use the cycle. Let's activate the cycle. And let's overlay it to the weekly price series on natural gas. So let's have... Um, look in regards to this data set. The first point before using the projection line is to cross check the past turns of this cycle and check if the turns of this cycle correlate to important changes in trend in the underlying price series. You know, we are using dynamic time cycles, so we are not about projecting price targets. We are about looking for points in time when we expect this data set to reverse its trend or major direction. So therefore, we, we, we should look out that the bottoms of the cycle correlate also to bottoms of the price series. So then we can align this top here, this cycle top here, um, and this low here, this cycle low here, and then trying to build this zigzag in price, which um, I think in that case here is quite easy uh, to see it here. And this low here, it's more or less we have a double low to the left and to the right, which is often the case. There's a shorter term cycle then coming to the next top here, 
exactly at this point in time. Then we have low here related to this cyclic low here and so forth. So this top here yeah, is then the top here. And then we can check if the zigzag in price is correlated with the turns of the cycle, which is the case. So just looking at the historical turns of this data set shows us that we have a nice correlation. So over the past 20 years, this 141 week cycle seems to be a valid rhythm in natural gas prices. And now we can use this to zoom in even in the current situation. And we see here that we are now arriving at a possible bottom here now at this point in time. So I think we are on the bottom period from a long-term cycle alone. We never know if the real low will come more to the left or to the right of the theoretical bottom here, as we always see in practical terms. So um, from the weekly series, we would expect gas prices to bottom around that area. And then the next projection is that through the full next year, so into the end of 2024, we see an upswing cycle now on the longer term series from natural gas. That's the projection we are interested. So there is a change ahead from the previous downswing cycle, which now seems to come to an end. And the next upswing cycle is now expected to start lasting for the next 18 months into end of 2024. That's the long-term projection of this cycle. So now to more fine-tune the analysis, we will switch to the next lower time frame, uh, which is then the daily series. So that's therefore now load um, workbook, which I have been working on anyhow on the daily data set. Uh, so let's first be selected. So this is now the daily price chart. We use, uh, in that case, uh, we don't need to use 20 years of historical data. It's enough if we use the last five to eight years on that data set for our daily analysis so that we have the large swing here. So this is what we're using for the daily. We again will have a closer look to the spectrum. In that case, it's more, to be honest, more easier, more obvious. There's only one really dominant cycle. Um, there is no other one to discuss anyhow. So we have the clear peak in the spectrum here at 255 trading days. This cycle has a length of 255 trading days, which can be seen in our spectrum here uh, with a nice green triangle and a large triangle here and a nice separation to the left and to the right here. So I think there's no... There's no arguing about which should be the dominant cycle. There is the one clear peak. So let's activate this cycle here with the length of 255 days, trading days in the natural gas futures contract. Let's see now, this is a shorter term cycle. We're doing the same, same procedure uh, as always. We're just cross-checking here, tops aligning with the uh, bottom. Um, so we see, even though it's not absolute prices, you see the swings, the relative swings are quite nicely aligned with the rhythm of the 255 days cycle here, which was exactly aligned on the top here in August last year. And now we are exactly at the bottom area of this cycle or quietly to, to the right side of this bottom here. So this daily cycle suggests that the natural gas prices are now entering their next upswing phase currently into late summer this year. So the daily dominant cycle for natural gas is in its upswing phase until August this year. And that's the interesting point if you want to summarize this cycle analysis. We now have an interesting cycles within cycles alignment within gas. So the long-term weekly cycle is currently switching to the upward long-term projection while the daily cycle is also in the upswing period. Um, so now the next 
a task to do is you need to switch to your price chart, apply your technical analysis. And I would recommend now use the lengths of 141 weeks if you analyze indicators on the weekly price series and use the lengths of 255 or in harmonic half of this length if you use the daily analysis with technical indicators. This will improve the, the signals and the performance of whatever technical indicator you use on technical chart. And this will give you an additional clue um, yeah, to time your entry and exit in this kind of markets. As always, this is pure cycle analysis. Um, we don't know if price will react to past cyclic behavior, but at least as a cycle analysis, analyst it's again quite interesting a time to validate what will happen to the um, natural gas prices next without taking any political or the climate discussion into account pure dynamic cycle analysis for the last five to 20 years on the price series so i hope you liked today's um cycles tv session Next week, I promise, I will be live again. So I'm happy to take your questions again next week. Please join again. Um, otherwise, I hope you liked today's session on natural gas. Have a safe week. Um, leave me your comments down below and we will meet next week again on Cycles TV. Thank you and bye.